My name is Tiffany Beachy and I'm the Citizen Science Coordinator at DreamLot. So our main mission is connecting people with nature and we try to do that in a really deep and immersive way. We're a residential environmental learning center so people will come here and live with us for a few days, even up to 10 days sometimes, and they're fully integrated into nature while they're here and getting dirty and learning and having fun and doing science and not even realizing how much they're learning in a lot of cases. So we try to make what we do local and personal and relevant. So taking what they learn here and then being able to take it back home to their own environment and community and recognize that, hey, I can interact with the environment and be a good steward where I live. This doesn't just happen here in the National Park. Data collection is important because it helps any one research project to gain the information that it needs to answer a question. So if you're thinking about any form of experiment or investigation, there's a question, a hypothesis, and you're looking to find an answer. The question that we've asked over the years has changed. Our big overarching project that we are conducting is basically breeding bird monitoring. What's going on with the birds in the summertime? We adhere to this protocol because it's standardized and there are maps banding stations all across the continent where we're using the same protocol and ask things like how long does this species live in this part of the country? What sort of habitat are they using? How are they being impacted by climate change or by habitat change, etc.? So it's a long-term data set that can be used by other researchers, but it can also be used by us. And we use it to understand our local breeding bird population. The vast majority of them, of Louisiana water thrushes and other birds that we catch, we never see again. And that's because there is a, a high death rate, a mortality rate of young birds in their first year. But once they make it to adulthood, they tend to last, and especially if they have the same habitat that stays intact from year to year. These migratory birds have high site fidelity, so they will go to South America, Central America for the winter, and return right here to the Smokies, and because it's a national park, their habitat's protected, and they, come, they can come to the same territory year after year, and we know right where to find them. So it's very helpful for us to, to understand them better, to follow them, to tell their story, and to have a conservation story to tell as well. It's fun and it's engaging for the public because they get to name the birds, they get sort of a connection with them there, and then they become the ones to train and educate and facilitate the learning for future volunteers and members of the public. So we see a real cycle through that. So not only are we getting high quality data collected by our volunteers, but we also see them being invested in their lives changed and impacted and then they go on to teach and impact others. So it's just a win-win on all sides.